Hello Taurus, I'm here to give you insight for the beginning of February. So Spirit was really nudging me to do a reading for you guys. Um, so here I am. So let's take a look. Taurus, see what's going on with you guys. Sun, Moon, and Rising, of course. I don't say that a lot in my videos because I figure people should know that by now. It can uh, refer to any placement uh, in your birth chart, not just your sun sign. So Taurus, Let's see what's going on with you guys. As you enter into the month of February, it's the 1st of February. Of course, time is fluid, so some things may occur later. It could be taking place currently, it could be recent past. Just take it as it resonates. Queen of Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Four of Swords, Seven of Wands, The Magician, The Lord, Eight of Wands, Four of Cups, Seven of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, Okay, so... I was hearing silent treatment, Taurus. So there's someone or maybe people who have not heard from you. You're giving the silent treatment at this time. You're focusing on um, resting, um, focusing on just building up your energy here. So you may not be talking to someone or someone may not be talking to you. There's like no communication here. Um, you still are in the energy of receiving, hearing people out, but you're, being, you're very selective for some of you. This could be someone in your life that you're dealing with that's not talking, that's not uh, speaking up. I was hearing sitting on something. So some of you could be sitting on something. You could be sitting on like a um, decision. Um, just There's a lot that could be going through your mind, but you're kind of sitting on this here. You're kind of like taking time out or this is somebody that you're dealing with. They're sitting on something, sitting on some communication, not really um, being extroverted. So, and there could be a reason, of course. Seven of Wands, I see this. This is the Lord of Courage. Four of Swords is Moon, or excuse me, Jupiter and Libra. So you could have this placement. Seven of Wands is Mars and Leo. So you're trying to have courage at this time while you're in silence. I was hearing suffering and silence. So it could be that you're fighting for something. You could, this is like action that you're putting forward. Maybe you're fighting to stay on top or fighting to survive. Um, okay. I was hearing taking the initiative. So I see that someone's taking the initiative. You could be taking the initiative, but it's requiring your courage here. You're trying your best to be strong mentally during this time. Uh, looking at the magician, this is Mercury. So the planet of communication, intellect, and reason. So you're utilizing your mind to overcome the challenges that you're in. I really feel like some of you could be in isolation here. This is moon and cancer. So there's definitely an energy of not communicating, really spending time with yourself here or your thoughts. This is a strong energy of like isolating. You can be isolating or spending time in solitude. Okay, take it as it resonates. Um, okay, I see Virgo here. I see Gemini, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Aquarius. Strong Aquarius energy here. Gemini Aquarius. Libra, of course. Any sign here. But there's a dominant figure in the center of your world here, it looks like. You could be showing up at this, as this dominant figure. You could have Aries in your chart or be a Taurus Aries cusp. Um, but this figure is like the center of your world right now. And this could be you just trying to channel and the strength. This is the Lord. This is the Emperor. So you're trying to pull or harness the strength to move forward. And I feel like it's harnessing the strength to move forward, whether it be mentally or action oriented. Uh, this is swiftness. I'm, I'm hearing, um, I'm kicking this. 
So some, some of you could be kicking a habit or kicking something, um, kicking something that um, may have created some type of strife for you, or if it's not strife, um, something that was taking your energy here, okay? Or something that was taking your energy, so you're kicking it. Um, this is also, like I said, energetically moving forward, overcoming. This, I also see this as traveling as well. This is Mercury and Sagittarius. So I feel like your mindset, you're, use, you're trying to use your, I was hearing mind over matter. It's like you're trying to use your mind to overcome challenges. Uh, use your mind to um, persevere, to move forward, to take the lead even. Uh, the Seven of Swords here, some of you are withholding some information and you could be withholding it because of your own peace. You don't want to, it could be that you don't want to talk too much about what's happening with you or what's going on. I feel like some people may have an idea, may know, but it's just you don't want to really communicate it for some of you at this time. Others of you, they, that may not be the case. I feel like you're coming out of this energy because we have the Nine of Pentacles here. This is Venus and Virgo, the Lord of Material Gains. So I feel like whatever you're trying to do, Tars, you're going to be able to overcome. It's really mind over matter, uh, matter and uh, strategy. It's going to really call for you to do some strategy. Make sure your efforts going forward mean something. It can't be meaningless, meaningless efforts forward. This, there has to be some intention behind this, your, your forward movement, some type of strategy, some intention. Uh, every, every step has to matter. Every choice, decision matters or has to matter. So um, looks pretty good. Um, the bottom of the deck, we have the, her the high priest, which is you, Taurus. Traditionally, it is the... Hierophant. I was hearing with the right resources, with the right resources, so it could be that you're needing the right resources. Some of you are really needing to use mind power. Like your mind is going to be really important. Um, it's going to be your best tool to help you overcome or to help you understand, to help you see um, the bigger picture. I feel like some of you Tarses could have some type of haters or people who don't really, um, um, I was going to say favor you, but uh, they don't really, what's the word? They don't fancy you as much. But, you know, I was hearing new levels, new devils, right? That's where some of you I was seeing. Um, some of you could have found something out. Something was revealed to you about this person, this person that has status. Maybe you have the status. Okay, something was found out, brought to light here. And I'm going to extract the Seven of Swords because, you know, everybody knows the Seven of Swords is like withholding information. It could be deception. But, of course, it can mean strategy. Like, it can mean something positive, too. Uh, what is the Seven of Swords? I was seeing somebody working on a blueprint or a plan. There was some type of plan. Eight of Cups. So, Eight of Cups is Saturn and Pisces. This is the Lord of Abandoned Success. So, there's something that's not satisfying here to you. You're not happy where you're at. I was hearing for some of you, you could be... If you feel far from home or you feel like at a distance, you kind of feel out of place here. Okay, um, where was I going with that? <laughs> I just lost my train of thought. Um, yeah, and then that could be a representation, like you feel disconnected, out of touch here, and you're trying to come up with a strategy, or maybe people, someone in your life is trying to come up with a strategy of getting you back, 
this could be a reckon like recognition not recognition it could be it, this is just flew out of my mouth recognition this could be a realization okay that's what i would really wanted to say Real, realization that you're not happy where you're at this is a realization that you want better for yourself so this may require strategy you may have to make a decision this could also if it's not that this could represent you leaving something behind due to this seven of swords energy due to this lie this deception like you're leaving this behind it could have been maybe you're withholding this within you or somebody could have lied to you maybe it wasn't honest with you and so you're you're distancing yourself I was hearing taking a hike. Okay. Okay. Um, there's, but there's a lesson here when it comes to the way you respond emotionally to the idea of, I was gonna say happiness, like your idea of happiness. Like, what does happiness mean to you? Like, do, like for some of you, you, there could be certain things that are low vibrational that makes you happy, but you, but it's not good for you. Okay, so it's like there's a need to look at that. There's someone I'm talking to. <laughs> okay, there's someone I'm talking to. Because there's something that makes you happy, but it's not good for you. It's it's an emotional response that is not healthy for you or has it been healthy for you. So it's a time for strategy now. Okay, but there is an energy of someone coming back, trying to come up with a strategy to get you back. I was hearing also winning you over. So this is the energy that I'm getting as well. Um, let's leave that. Let's see. Oh wow. Okay, so yeah, this looks like an energy. This is, looks like hiding. All right. This is like energy of being below ground. Looking up it could be that you're desiring to come from come from above ground or come from below ground. You're desiring to emerge here. Okay, some of you could be looking for a solution. I was hearing recovery, but there's this card here, which is tears. So this could be a painful process. This could be a situation that whatever you're going through for some of you, a situation that really took a lot of your confidence, really took a lot of your energy. It made you really sad. But for some of you, it's like there still seems to be like some strength behind this tears, like the tears that I'm seeing here. Like a situation, an experience made you really sad, but you're, you stand strong. Um, some of you could have been hiding in your hole, like kind of in no communication, because I was picking up on that energy, like no communication, kind of hiding in your cave, hiding in your hole. Okay. I was hearing voluntarily, involuntarily, okay. I was hearing picking up the pieces here with this card. You're trying to pick up the pieces or someone is trying to pick up the pieces regarding you. They're trying to piece things together. I was also hearing like evidence. And this can make a lot of sense with the seven of swords, maybe something was hidden, some deceit, something shady had taken place, something that wasn't right had taken place. And so maybe for some of you, the dots weren't really connecting. So you're trying to connect the dots or someone's trying to connect the dots here. And it could be, could have been what they found, you know, made them really sad or made you sad, what you found. I was hearing pitiful. Okay, so pitiful. You can have pity for someone. Hmm. 
Yeah, this is definitely on the bottom of the deck. It just looks like isolation. I mean, this could be isolation or solitude here. As I'm looking at this person, they have a skull in their lap. So the skull is looking up at them. Wow, um, I was hearing, this is crazy, looking death in the face. It could have been a situation, not to freak you guys out, it could be like a situation that almost, you know, drained you or took you in some type of way. This could have been, this death could represent a transition, um, looking a transition in the face, being open to the transition, being open to an ending, so a new beginning can take place here. All right, let's see what the Crystal Kingdom has for you, Taurus. A message for Taurus. All right, we have Ancient Wisdom Crystal. The Ancient Wisdom. Wow, so you have some Ancient Wisdom. You're encouraged to use your wisdom. I feel like some of you could... Spend time in solitude, and that's when you get your spiritual downloads. That's when you connect with your ancestors. That's when you connect with the sacred knowledge. Okay. And then, wow, ancestors, petrified wood. So your ancestors are with you at this time. Your ancestors are working on supporting you during this time. Just call on them. I was just hearing no good... No ungood deed goes unturned. Is that how you say it? Like if someone does something bad, it won't be ignored, okay? This is what I was hearing for you. So your ancestors are working with you. I was hearing um, preserving you. I was hearing uh, preserving. So it could be preserved knowledge that you're going to have access to or they're working on in your life right now, trying to preserve you in some type of way music so we have spirit quartz which is one of my favorite crystals so music so music could be really important for you it could be a great way for you to connect with ancient wisdom it could spark some insight within you um, the music that you listen to also it can um, connect you with your ancestors for some of you you could um, be from a you know a traditional background you know um, different countries i was hearing peru like africa you you come from um uh, a cultural background okay and, and music can connect you with your ancestors also music I, I see this as harmony creating harmony so i feel like some of you are going to be getting downloads from your ancestors um also ancient wisdom that's provided to you or, or um passed down to you from your guides i feel like you're going to be getting insight from these sources to create harmony in your life okay because when i think about music or i see an instrument and the tarot cards i think about harmony that's a desire so you desire harmony this is what you're wanting um, also the harmony has to start with you i was hearing circumstantials you know so maybe you come from you're in a family that's maybe not so harmonious or they're maybe not um you know I guess not as harmonious or together. And so this could be telling you that it starts with you. You need to put yourself first, okay? Which makes a lot of sense with the Nine of Pentacles. This is confidence. This is being in your element, okay? So you can receive guidance, okay? Ancient wisdom and messages from your ancestors uh, to help you move forward towards uh, harmony in your life. Wow, Rite of Passage, the same card, oh, I keep holding it like that, the same card that Leo got. So you could have Leo in your chart or dealing with the Leo. So Rites of Passage, so this is, um, for some of you, there could be a celebration. This is time for you to celebrate your life, celebrate how far you have come, all right? Um, I also see this as a transition in your life, as transition taking place in your life, which is really important. Um, to allow, especially if it's for your highest good. Some of you could be taking time out. It could be even that you're cutting people off, you know, cutting off communication with people, focusing on your mental health. And so therefore you've transitioned into an, a higher vibration. You're not allowing people to deter you or stress you out. You're, ha you're having courage to stand up against them. You're moving forward. You're putting yourself first. You're, you're 
you know, you're taking the necessary steps to create positive change in your life where you're encouraged to with the rite of passage. And this is cup right, cup right. I don't know what crystal this is. It looks like a sacred seven to me. Oh, that's an ash on my hand. Oof. Okay. Um, let's see your advice going forward, Taurus, your advice going forward. Emotional healing. This is the same. I'm going to keep holding it like that. This is the same card that Leo got. So you definitely could be dealing with the Leo. I have Leo in your chart. So it's a call for you to heal emotionally. Take this time out to heal. Okay. It's going to be really important for you to do that, Taurus, during this time. Um, emotional healing is very important. Um, do this emotional healing for the sake of your peace and happiness and also for the sake of others. It could be that the imbalances that you're experiencing emotionally could affect you or your surroundings here. Okay, so uh, be really mindful of this. Stay strong. You're encouraged to stay strong. You could be going through some transitions, some changes, but it's really important that you stay strong. Sometimes we have to start with our mental health before the emotional health. We know the emotional health is like the common denominator. It's the main focus, but sometimes we have to start with the mental health. So take care of your mental health because your mental health can influence your emotions and vice versa. You know, sometimes our emotions influences our mental health. So uh, be really mindful of this. So your action forward is becoming aware of your emotional health and taking the initiative to heal emotionally. Okay, Taurus, this is the end of your reading. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the month and God bless.